In Blanda City, we have several challenges. One, we have uh, sanitation problems in the public uh, uh, sector. We have domestic where people have challenges uh, in the residential areas where they are living. We have markets, we have uh, open spaces, and we have uh, transit roads. All these are some of the places where maybe a lot of people gather and uh, Obviously, where people spend a lot of their time, they may wish to relieve themselves. Uh, we really had the challenges because people did not have adequate facilities where maybe they could help themselves with. Together with West, we approached the uh, Bill and Amanda Gates Foundation to see if they could assist us, uh, help out in the sanitation sector, more especially for the low income areas, for those who cannot. Uh, who are less privileged. We had a focus group discussions uh, with the communities, see what their major problems were. It was obvious that sanitation was a big problem. Now that uh, the project came into being, it has really helped the council because, uh, for example, in the markets where people are very unhappy because of the sanitation service, today people are very happy because they have uh, very clean toilets and toilets which are not just toilets but they have other services. Here in Bayani market the sanitation situation was very bad. You can see on the right hand side the toilets were in a very bad state. But now we have a public private partnership contract in place. This contract requires the private sector to operate with a minimum service level agreement and in exchange can charge a fee to the users. The change is evitable and people are willing to pay to have this kind of service. The city of Blantyre has five designated areas for treatment of both fecal sludge and wastewater. This is the plant for Soji. We have Blantyre wastewater treatment plant, which is in Manasse. We have Limbe wastewater treatment plant, which is in Jigumula. We also have another site for treatment which is in Chirimba and then the other one is in Maone. So out of these five wastewater treatment plants, it was only two which are operational. That's the Soji wastewater treatment plant and the Blantyre wastewater treatment plant. Uh, the city of Blantyre has a population of over a million but out of this population it is only 20 percent of the population which is connected to the wastewater treatment plants. The rest are uh, using either septic tanks or little latrines. Because we had no option, all the fecal sludge from the little latrines and the uh, septage from septic tanks ended up reaching the treatment sites. And that affected the efficiency of the treatment plant. And because of that, uh, we have some parts of the treatment plants which are not functional because they, they were blocked and they need unblocking. And to, to have those areas and blocked with there's need for special machinery which needs to be hired and that is a, a proving a challenge for city council to keep on maintaining the treatment plants. So as the one way of uh, finding a solution to that, that's when now waste came in. Waste is running a project that is uh, looking at the fecal sludge treatment only. And with waste there are plans to have a parallel system that might take part of the wastewater treatment plants, but not the whole treatment plant. Solely they meant for treatment of fecal sludge. The SSLA project in Blantar basically is looking at three components on the whole sanitation chain. The first component is related with the public toilets, where we are planning to have um, improved public toilets that people can have a good service. Then we have the emptying services. We are implementing a new technology called the mobile dislodging unit, but also we're working with the existing other technologies like a gulper and honey suckers. And the third component is more related with treatment. For example, we have the treatment site here. So we want to improve or provide a specific treatment uh, technologies for fecal sludge collected from septic tanks and pit latrines. So in the in Blantar we have five sites 
and we are trying to combine the existing sites with the new options, with the new technologies, so we can cover the whole sanitation chain. But Waste Advisors, our motto is to turn waste into prosperity. Actually, we do not believe that such a thing is waste. There's only things with unseen potential. Waste Advisors want to see the cities of Malawi being prepared for the rapid urbanization through having efficient, effective, and sustainable management systems in place to handle all forms of waste. We apply validated research to discover and then to demonstrate this potential before brokering relationships between the private sector, the government, financing institutions and customers in what we call the diamond approach. The SSLA project was at the core of this strategy and it was an absolute joy to work with the city council and we are looking forward to taking back the city to its people.